everyone, it's Adrienne, and a couple days ago I did something kind of courageous and I actually came out on Facebook to everybody who knows me as transgender. I have started using Adrian as my Facebook name and I've started to get people actually calling me Adrian in real life. And some of the things I highlighted in the post are I am not planning on transitioning physically and I'm not planning on taking testosterone. So yeah, another thing that's happening is I go back to school in two days. I obviously have some concerns considering a lot of my community is very transphobic and homophobic. Some of the things I'm scared of are one, asking people there to call me by Adrian instead of the name I've been called at that school for three years. Two, continuing to use the girls bathroom even after coming out as transgender because god forbid I use the boys bathroom there I would probably get beaten up. Three, other people on Facebook who haven't seen the post yet and I'll have to gradually explain to them my situation. Four, asking people to use he, him, or they, them pronouns with me because a lot of people are used to calling me she, her. And five, this is kind of a smaller one, but it's the fact that my voice is still pretty feminine. I'm probably going to try some voice techniques since I don't want to take testosterone, but I'm still feeling dysphoric with my voice like this. But aside from all those fears, I'm actually very excited this year because I'm a senior this year and I am helping out with our school's GSA, our Gay Straight Alliance Club. We started this club last year, but it didn't go very far. So this year I'm hoping to build it more and actually get the community going with some LGBT programs and hopefully just make it a safer place for LGBT in our community. Because honestly, I got really lucky. I have a lot of friends supporting me. I have my family supporting me. And I just don't want the people who live here with no support to go through something like that. Because really so far our town is very limited with its knowledge of LGBT. There's not really any place to go. Our Gay Straight Alliance is pretty much the first LGBT organization that our town has made. And I will probably be doing a one month or two month update on school, letting you guys know what it's been like for me if there's been any problems with the teachers or the faculty or students, things like that, as far as me being transgendered, me doing the Gay Straight Alliance Club. And one of the main reasons I'm hoping on making an update one or two months into my school year is because when I looked things up, I was looking for advice, I was looking for how to deal with me and validating myself, how to deal with being transgender in high school, and I couldn't really find a whole lot of that. So I was hoping to make something to help people who are going through a similar situation and just kind of give them the advice and things that I learned along the way. Because I'm not trying to look for attention and I'm not trying to like beg people for sympathy, but it has been kind of hard on mostly your mental state, your psyche. And I am actually very lucky. I'm very lucky to have a family and a group of friends that support me. So I can only imagine what it must be like for someone who doesn't have the support system that I have. So hopefully something good will come out of this and I can help a few others who are going through the same situation as I am. So that's just my little update for you guys and I'll let you know anything that goes on in my life. I should have a pop and cooking video out soon, but other than that, that's all for now. So thank you guys.